welcome back students in this video tutorial we are going to learn for loop then we are going to learn step value here then using multiple variables also we will learn and then we will see finding factorial then sum of series let us create a class called multiple class multiple let us write my main method public static void main of string of arguments uh, let us find the multiple of 5 let us create a for loop for int i is equal to let it be 5 as the beginning and then when i is lesser than or equal to maybe 50 and then so now the step value until now we were giving increment or decrement so that is i plus plus or i minus minus now we are going to see how to write other step value so now i is equal to i plus 5 so every time what it happens i's value is going to increase by 5 simply we are going to print this system dot out dot print line of so we are going to print i first it is going to print 5 as i and then next it is going to increment by 5 so it becomes 10 then it will continue until lesser than or equal to 50 compile no syntax error so you can see 5 to 50 has been printed in case we need a value from a user until which we want to print so instead of fixed value here 50 we can give here any value which is given by the user say x so you can input this x either by scanner class or you can use here as parameter so this is user defined method with a parameter i am giving int x so x is going to be input now then until whatever the value of x is going to be printed compile so let us have 100 so you can see 5 to 100 and then one more also we can do here any multiples you need so here we had 5 as a constant number instead of that that also can be created by user so that is int y so whatever the value is given by the user it is going to be taken as multiples of that number so here instead of 5 we can say here as y and also the beginning also as y only so that it begins with the same number and then multiples of that we will get let us compile no syntax error so multiples until what we need here we may need until 100 multiples of 20 so it has printed 20 40 60 and 100 now let us learn how to give multiple variables in this for loop so for that let us have a main method easy to learn so let us have number of times to run a loop so that is i is equal to 1 so if you feel that this loop should run 5 times we will give i is lesser than or equal to 5 and then it is going to be i plus plus so now see from 1 to 5 it is going to run it is going to run 5 times in case if we need to print the multiples of 
10. How we can do here? We can give comma. Already we have declared as int. So we are giving j is equal to 10. And then here the condition is 5 times it is going to run. The increment operator is here. After this, we can give here plus, and then what we are going to give, we are going to increase also j. j is equal to j plus 10. See here, int i is equal to 1 and j is equal to 10 here after that semicolon. So that we have initialized two variables here and the condition i is lesser than or equal to 5, it is going to run 5 times and then i plus plus for i's value it is going to do i plus plus that is every time it is increasing 1 but here j is increased by 10 times. So we are going to print here j. So let us run this. So you can see 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. So this is the way of giving two variables in a for loop. The third thing which we are going to learn here is finding factorial. So let us have the normal loop here that is i is equal to 1 then i is lesser than or equal to 5 and then i plus plus. I am removing this the second variable which we have given. Before finding factorial let us know what is factorial first if any number is given to find a factorial for example 3. So 3 factorial the factorial symbol is exclamatory mark here which is equal to that is up to 3 you are going to multiply all the sequence of number starting from 1. So that is 1 into 2 into 3. So what is the result of this? 1 into 2 is 2 and then 2 is multiplied by 3 is 6. So 6 is the answer. So 3 factorial is 6. In case if it is 6 factorial, we are going to do 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6. So the answer it is going to be 2 3s are 6, 6 4s are 24, 24 5s are 120. 126 are 720. So this is how we find the factor. To find factorial, we need one more variable which is called f. And then f we are going to initialize as 1. So and then inside the for loop, we are having f is equal to f into i. i is equal to 5 means 5 times it is going to run and then it is going to find factorial of 5. In case if you need factorial of 10, we will give here 10. Otherwise, as usual, if we need user input means we can give using the parameterized method, otherwise user input. Let us have this 5 itself and then let us print f. After compiling this, I will explain how this works. Let us declare this int f is equal to 1. Compile. So we can see factorial of 5 is 120. We also can give here factorial of 5 is equal to this should be inside the quotation and then plus f you can see factorial of 5 is equal to 120 let us know the method how it works see 5 factorial so that is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 which is equal to 120. 
here f we have already declared as 1 and then i is in the loop so i is value first it is going to be 1 so we have given f is equal to f into i it is going to find f is equal to 1 so that is the value of f is 1 into i is value is 1 we can see here 1 as result and then this value is stored for next time as f is 1 next time this i is going to be 2 so i becomes 2 here it becomes 1 into 2 is equal to 2 so the value of 2 is substituted in f so f's value becomes 2 then now i value become 3 so f value is 2 and i's value is 3 2 into 3 is equal to 6 the result again going to f then i becomes 4 see f is equal to 6 and then 4 is equal to 24 then the 24 is going to be substituted in f and then it becomes 5 automatically 24 into 5 is equal to 120 so like this we arrive the result when it becomes 6 it is invalid so it comes out of the loop and then we are printing only the last value so we can see here f is equal to see these values are calculated every time then f into i i's values it is changing every time 1 2 3 4 5 6 i have given colors to easy understanding i hope this was clear to you to understand how the factorial is working now let us see the sum of factorial so what is sum of factorial we are going to see one factorial plus two factorial plus three factorial plus 4 factorial plus 5 factorial so we need to find the sum of this let us have one more variable int so we have to initialize this as we are going to add so in the beginning before we add the default value will be 0 so we have initialized as 0 and then we have also initialized f is equal to 1 here we are going to find the sum of each time for that let us have sum is equal to sum plus f see we have many statements here so let us have here as block of code We don't need to print every time here so we are going to print only once so let it be outside the loop so sum is equal to here sum so what it is going to do it finds one factorial that is one it adds with the sum and then two factorial it will find and then again it is going to add with this old sum which is already 1 so like that it is keep on continuing until 5 factorial let it be in the comment line so compile this no syntax error let us run this you can see sum is equal to 153 Okay, now let us have some other type of series so let us have like this so that is x to the power 1 by 1 plus x to the power 2 by 2 plus x to the power 3 by 3 and then so on up to x to the power n divided by n so let it be here sum is equal to 0 but it is having some denominator value so it may be double here double and then instead of f we take the answer as y and then just the answer also may be in double double y so 
So, what it is y is going to be x to the power i, isn't it? So, we need also a variable called x. So, let us have here in the parameter series, just I give a CR. So, int x. So, we need the value of x here. It is going to be math dot pow of math dot power of x comma i. So, this is going to find x to the power 1 for 1 and then x to the power 2 for 2 like that and then we also need divided by i. So, when i is 1, x to the power 1 divided by 1, x to the power 2 divided by 2. So, like that it is keep on going to find when sum is equal to 0, first time it is adding and then again. So, instead of this here i, then second time, third time like that it keep on adding until 5 times or n term means we also can give here int n. So, that is n time. So, this will print the sum of series which we have seen there. Let us run this x. So, the x value we are giving for example 2 and then n's value up to 3 times. You can see sum is equal to 6.6666. Now, let us consider instead of 1, 1 factorial and then here as 2 factorial and then here as 3 factorial and then there up to n factorial. So, we have to find factorial of the number as well as i is going to be in the power. Let us modify this program. As we need factorial, let us have factorial also. Int f is equal to 1 and then we need factorial f is equal to f into i which we have seen already how to find the factorial and then here so this is the same thing here instead of i we are going to substitute f that's all students it's very simple i click here x value maybe 10 up to 5 times. Students, I hope you learnt how to find the sum of series today. Let us see some more series in the next session. Subscribe this channel. It is free so that you can get always intimation about my uploading. Thank you students. Keep watching my videos.